So how much typically are these plants? So our plants range anywhere from a couple dollars to the hanging baskets that can be up to $16. So depending on what, um, if you get a container or if you get a whole flat, which could be 36 plants, or if you get a container, um, like a hanging basket would be $16. So we will have a price sheet for all of our customers when they come in um, and they will have all our plants identified. So all the plants will be laid with the price. Okay, and which plants typically are the easiest to take care of for people who don't have a green thumb? Um, that's a very common question. Um, probably the most common and most popular for that would be, um, it's called a wandering Jew and it's in a hanging basket. It's a great plant, so not necessarily a lot of flowering, but um, it doesn't have to be watered every day or every other day. You can make it a few days. Um, so people that don't have a green thumb typically can make those live. Okay. And when exactly will everything be opened and from what time to what time are you selling? We will open on Wednesday, April the 13th as our first day. We'll open at 8 o'clock that morning. And uh, really that's a teacher uh, day. We like to let teachers shop first. We open until 5.30 and uh, Thursday, same hours, 8 to 5.30. We will be open on Good Friday, although we're at school, we'll be here from 8 to noon. On Saturday, Easter weekend, we'll be here 8 to noon. And then uh, the next week will be probably 8 to 4, depending on what we have left. Which flowers or plants would be best if you're more in like a colder environment or for the shade or which ones would be better if it's more brighter or like warmer outside? Good question. Um, another common question and uh, we I tell my students all the time, that, um, the way our greenhouse sits, um, things that are on one side of the greenhouse just happen to be on the sun side of the greenhouse. Uh, most people in our area tend to want a lot of sun plants, so I actually bought more plugs this time to have sun plants. Um, so we will have that labeled as well because if you plant a sun plant in the shade, it will not do as well nor will it flower like it should. And if you plant a shade plant in the sun, it will most definitely die. So you definitely need to know if you're looking for a sun or shade plant when you come into the greenhouse. And so we will definitely point you in the direction which side is shade and which side is sun so you kind of know what you're looking for when you get inside. Yes, we have uh, lots of flowers. That's our main um, crop, I guess, crop that we sell. But we will have tomatoes, um, different varieties of tomatoes. We will have peppers, like bell peppers and sweet banana peppers, jalapenos. Um, our plants have squash and zucchini, uh, probably okra. Um, I will tell you that vegetables go quickly. So if you want vegetables, you might want to be here that first week for sure. So where exactly do you get the seeds to grow all of these uh, flowers and stuff? So the flowers, uh, flowers usually take longer to germinate than vegetables do. And with the timing of our classes and the amount of flowers that we have, um, we actually buy plugs from a local uh, our Tennessee business is a family owned business, so they actually grow them from seed and when we buy them, they are seedlings, so they're plugs, they're about this big, and we get them in January, February, and that's we plant them and grow them out through April. With the vegetables, we do seed those ourselves because we can germinate tomatoes and peppers within a week to 10 days and grow those out, but they're just not as challenging and temperamental as flowers would be germinate.